We have a very critical situation and not much time to act. The St. Jacob, a commercial fishing vessel, set out three days ago from a harbor near Georgetown on Exuma Island in the Bahamas. She was due back 12 hours ago, nobody's seen her, and she's not responding on the radio. Normally, this delay wouldn't be too much of a cause of concern, but we had a major storm sweep through last night, so we think she's stranded, and we've got to go find the crew. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Flight Simulator. We have a, uh, a search and rescue mission going on here. We are in the Cessna Grand Caravan. Look at this thing. We, we've got tons of room for passengers. I don't know how many people we're going to be picking up. I don't even know if we're going to be able to find them, but we're going to try our best. We're going to put the battery on, avionics on. Got our Garmin's firing up. Alternator, fuel switch. Uh, we would have put this on auto and start. Okay, I, th I think, I think we should be starting up here. Oh yeah, there she goes. She's firing up. All right, we got to go save these people. We are taking off from, uh, where are we? I'm not sure. M-Y-E-B. What is that? So it, the thing is in this mod, there's no like maps or anything. The only map we have is we, the Coast Guard hit us up with some potential locations based on the weather systems and the currents around this area. So we've got six points of interest that we need to go check around this island and it doesn't even fly you there. Like you, you have to find these on your own. So I'm, I'm going to pull up Google Maps. M M-Y-E-B is Black Point Great Guana Key Airport. So we're going to be taking off and then I, I say we go right. I do have a, an overall map of the POIs, which I'll put on screen right here. It was included in like the, the download. So this is the vessel that we're looking for here. Giant commercial fishing vessel, yellow and orange. Hopefully easy to spot. Big green spool on the back. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. I don't know who is is crazy enough to let me go save somebody i think i am severely underqualified for this but we are going to take off here and technically we are heading towards poi one now this map right here and our avionics is literally the only map that we have we can't pull up anything else the only other thing we can pull up is poi one this is what we're looking for it looks like it's where two islands are disconnected and then we've got a third one here can we see See that on this? Not yet. It's going to be further up. Welcome to the Bahamas. I wish we had a better scenario to celebrate, to take in this beauty of one of the, you know, most beautiful countries in the world. White sand, beautiful turquoise waters. Just going to try to take it all in and keep our eyes peeled. Can you imagine actually trying to find a, a boat here? We have a lot going for us. The fact that we have these POIs we can look out for is good. I'm wondering if this up here is that first POI that we're looking for. Should start to come up on the, the map. Oh, oh, it's this. It's this right here, I think. You see the, the disconnect? All right, don't don't crash, Trev. Yeah, that's that's got to be it. We've got the little cove there. If I bring up uh, our nav log, we're going to have the little cove. This juts right. This this is it right here. So it, it could be anywhere in that area. Honestly, coming up pretty soon. So that's that's the biggest thing. We have like basic areas that the Coast Guard thinks it could be, but we obviously have no idea exactly where it is. So it's going to be up to us. The, the point, I think, is that we're going to have to land and we're going to have to land close to them. So we've got to... Ooh, what's that? What's this right here? Is that just a bush? That's just a bush. We're going to have to keep an eye out. We're going to have to, to pinpoint... Dude, this ship could be anywhere. It could be in these little coves and stuff. We're going to have to find where the ship is, and then we're going to have to successfully land and save the people. I, I really don't have a lot of confidence in myself, but we'll see. Maybe if we zoom out and look down, we can kind of see both sides of the island here. I'm imagining this... this Boat's got to be pretty big, right? If we bring our, our thing back up. Let's take a look at her again. She's going to be big. She's got a, a big, like, commercial spool back here. It's it's a big commercial fishing boat. This is POI number one right here. 100%. All right. So let's... We're coming in a little bit hot. We've got houses over there. I mean, if you're going to get stranded next to these houses would probably be the ideal scenario, right? I almost want to rule this one out just based off the fact of that. This is this is like a, a very inhabited island. They would not be calling the Coast Guard if they were out here. Technically, they didn't call the Coast Guard. We're just going out looking in response to them not coming back. But I would think that they would have reported it if they were close to uh, civilization. We've got an airport out here. Yeah, it's, it's not here. 100%. So we're going to continue on to the east. 
We've got POI three and five over there. So three is gonna be this area. I really like this. This looks like there's a lot of space where it could potentially fall into. And then five, to be honest, Great Ixuma Island. I don't think it would be there just again, based on the fact that that's gonna be a little bit more inhabited. It's also the location in the main dig map. You can see here, it's, just, it's kind of in the opposite direction of where they were going and, and where they took off from and stuff like that. So we're gonna head over to POI number three and hopefully we can find them there. Well, I do believe we have officially made it to location number three. You can see we're coming along this coastline here. We've got this little island sticking out on the side. I think we're kind of making our way up through here and we have not seen anything yet. I'm gonna try to get down for a closer look here to this. It's, it's gonna be so, when you look at the size of the trees, it makes you really realize just how hard this is going to be to find. You know, a, a boat's not going to be that much bigger than like a, a couple large palm trees put together. And those are so easy to just fade into the distance. The harbor it took off from is over here and they were last sighted somewhere around here. There's one other point of interest over there. I don't know if they would have made it all the way over there though. I, I think I think this is, is probably a, a pretty good look in here, but I also wonder if that's a bit too easy. Think about how we have third person view and we're flying in a video game where there's there's nothing to lose. Think about how hard this would be to actually do this in real life where you're flying a plane and your life is in your own hands but you're also trying to find a speck on the horizon. We made the U here. I'm trying to see if we bring up number three again. We're over here. I don't think it could be over here. I think it's gonna be back over in this area. I, I don't think it's here. We did that whole thing. I'm gonna do another pass just in case but I don't think it's here. The third person view is, is like it be able to see the entire world all around us and we still can't really see that well. I don't know how they do these search and rescue missions. That's insane. If we're looking on this side of the island, we can't really see the other side of the island. So you got to constantly be looking ahead, constantly looking to the side. I mean, they could be in any one of these little coves and beaches. Dude, this is beautiful. Imagine having a boat and just being able to bop around the Bahamas to all these random tiny little beaches by yourself, not a soul in sight. That'd be pretty cool. I don't think these guys on this boat are enjoying this very much, but if you're doing it for fun, recreation, it'd be a pretty good time. See, they, they could be tucked away in these. Ugh, I feel like maybe a, a little bit higher here, Trev. We want to be close enough that we can recognize it, but we want to be up over the trees so that we can hopefully see both sides of the island. I'm gonna cut, cut back this way. This is gonna be about the end here. I'm not seeing anything here. I don't think they're here. So that's the airport that we took off from right there. Lots of civilization around here. Look at all these big mansions and these coves and things. Oh my goodness, I love the Bahamas, man. Chelsea and I are actually gonna be going back to the Bahamas this year doing something we've never done before. You guys are gonna see it on the vlog channel. It's gonna be great. So yeah, this this was the, wherever we took off from, Iguana Key, was that what it was? Guaguara Key, something like that. And now we are gonna be heading west. Our first POI we're gonna be taking a look at is POI 2, which, ooh, this, this is a tough one. All right, it's gonna be coming up here pretty quickly, I think. It looks like it's wherever we see the, the big island off to the left, which might be here? No, maybe, maybe here? It's gonna be somewhere up this way. We come off of this, I'm, I'm cross-referencing a bunch of maps here. Here's a group of three. Th oh, it's this. It's this right here. USR02. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We're just going to keep heading that way. More airports and things. Yeah, I, I'm kind of tempted to say it's got to be, I mean, POR5 maybe isn't the, the worst thing. It's got to be one of the ones that's further away. I think it's got to be four, five, or six. So we're, we're heading to four and six. I don't think it was five. I guess it could be. I, I don't know if it's, it's being reasonable in, in terms of you know, uh, logic, but like if, if you shipwrecked here, you're going to swim over to the airport and get help and report about your boat and things like that. Like, I, I just, I don't, I don't see it being somewhere this close. It's got to be further away. We're huge buildings and resorts. We've got cars down there. That's pretty cool. You can see all the little, little white specks in the uh, satellite imagery that are the boats. So we have a bit of a, a trip to go here. It's going to be up, I think, 
in this area. Got to be honest, this is really intimidating, though. I mean, it, it could be it could be anywhere in here. I'm hoping it's about the size of, of a small house, you know, something like that. Give, give me that. But to be honest, the houses are kind of throwing me off because they could be boats. They're so close to the water. They're kind of the same color. Most of the boats going to be kind of like a rusty brown. So every time I see like a, a dark spot like that, I, my heart skips a beat. Imagine not having third person view where you can zoom in. But also, I, I would imagine that if, if you're going on a search and rescue mission, you're going to have, you know, kind of like a, a spotter situation. You're going to have binoculars. You're going to have night vision. You're going to have hopefully not a grand caravan. Really, the budget cuts at, at the Coast Guard this year have been really rough. I think it's going to be this. Let me let me take a look at uh, location two. We've got like this big. Oh, that's that. That is right there. You've got the long one. Okay, so we're coming up on it right now. It could be anywhere in, in what's right in front of us here. Anywhere in this vicinity. This big circle right here. Might want to get a little bit lower. I mean, maybe that's the play to come up top and then zoom in. This is a whole bunch of little islands. I'm not seeing it. I said we do a second pass a little bit lower. I'm, maybe that that's, that's my new strat. I'm going to do a, a tall pass and just see if we see anything that sticks out. But if it's the size of a house, we're going to see it. It's not there. I don't think we need a second pass. Oh. I think we do need to be careful about stalling, though. Let's let's not do that, Trev. Okay. Are we confident? I'm fairly confident. I don't think it was there. There's that big circle island. It, it stops right after the circle island, right? Yeah, it has that hook there, so that would have been this. I mean, I think things kind of despawn as you get further away. Do we still see houses anywhere? They might despawn. I don't think it was there, though. We're, we're going to keep going. PY4 is going to be in the next set of islands. We're going to follow these, and then we've got to jump some water, and I think it's going to be somewhere over here. Take a look at what we're looking for. It's going to be a long, skinny island, kind of like an upside-down eye, I guess. Although I think for us, that's going to end up being right side up. Cross-checking the maps is hard. I can see... Okay, yeah, we're heading in the right direction. Just nothing but big, beautiful houses and blue water, baby. Such a gorgeous place, except for when you're... I can't even imagine how stressful that would be. So, how many islands are in the Bahamas? It's something ridiculous. Like, your, your likelihood of, of getting found, if nobody knows where you are at, is not the highest. Oh, uh, we were going too fast. Are you kidding me? The great part about this challenge is it's on max difficulty. So we've, we've got to restart there. The airframe was damaged because we were going too fast. We weren't paying attention and now we need to go all the way back to the initial take. I guess we can double check our work again over here on the west side. What in the world? That house was taken by the hurricane that came through here, man. Are they okay? So there are 700 islands in the Bahamas and only about 30 of them are inhabited. To give you an idea, you're, you're searching for a needle in a haystack here, but luckily we've got six island circled that we might be able to find so we're, we're currently in route again to number four i feel like four and six are my two favorites i'm thinking it could be four here dude look at this little resort or house or whatever it is and then you've got this giant yacht here inside the thing man what a life huh sorry back on on cue here we're supposed to be looking for s stranded human beings trev let's let's not gawk over the mansions and yachts that was actually a part of of poi 2 back there i guess we didn't notice that the first time i don't know how hard we were looking but um yeah i, I don't think it's there I've, I've been keeping an eye out here um we are back to about where we crashed from too high of an airspeed i don't think it's going to be in here but i do think we're a Approaching where we're gonna make the crossing. I think there's this island. There's this island and then we should have a, a large jump across So this island and then this island and you can see we actually have a large amount of ocean in between there And then this is gonna be POI 4 over here about halfway through this stretch of ocean We were talking about still have a couple of islands dotted along here. We're just kind of following this chain POI 4 I think might be this. I think this might be the ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm honestly not sure. Can we take a look inside here? Let's see if we can get these to line up. Do we see? Hmm. Is it this? I think it could. I think it's this. I think it's this one right here in front of us. Okay. I'm going to start to slow things down a little bit. It should be kind of like one of the very first. Yeah, this. I'm pretty sure this is it. It doesn't match up exactly, but you can see it's got that little tail there. Yeah, this, this, I'm fairly certain this is it. Let's not crash, Trev. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. I, I, I have a feeling they're going to be out in this area somewhere. Oh, but there's more buildings on this island. Is, I don't know if this is it. It might, it might be the next one. 
No, it's the next one. It's this one up here. Sorry. What am I talking about? It's this one over here. There's the, there's the, the POI4. When you just have a bunch of squiggly little lines that kind of all look the same, it's easy to get them mixed up. Wow, another beautiful beach and marina. So we're coming up here. I just, I don't know. When we look at four, there's like this. Is that this? And then there's one in between them. And then we have this thing over here. Yeah, so this is this. This right here is that. This hook is this. So it could be, it could be anywhere out over here through here. It could be any one of these little islands all the way up to the end of this thing. So let's try to get our eyes peeled. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we're onto something here. They could be over in these little coves. No, I'm so nervous about potentially going down. We are losing quite a bit of airspeed. I'm going to speed up the engines a little bit. So I don't, I don't think it was on the outlying ones. Trying to pretty much go over the middle so we can see both. We know it's definitely not on this side. We can't see anything over here. So let's check more to the left. They could be back in here. You don't really know what the storm did to them. Oh, bunch of little islands out here. I don't see anything. Again, dude, imagine you're trying to look at it through here. It'd be so tough. I'm trying to look over the dash and everything. It's not crash, Trev. That's the number one most important thing here. Your, your rescue should not be crashing. Could they be out there? Let me bring up our nav map again. It could be on that. Okay, let me look to our left here. I'm just worried it's gonna end up being tucked up against the shoreline and we're not gonna see it because of the trees. It's not on that thing. Okay, I don't think it's here. Well, based on our observations so far, it's either gonna be POI five or six. I hope we didn't miss it. Otherwise we are in, oh. if I have to go back and try to find this and, and do all this again, I mean, we're, we're an hour plus into this already. Okay, be careful about your speed here, Trev. POI six. Six is gonna be a ways. This this little arrow right here kind of points us towards POI six. So we're gonna lock it in and hope they. I mean, it, if they put it at the very farthest point away, that would kind of make sense, right? Dude, it is so far away still. It's so it's this little arrow points to this island, and then it's the next island up from that. So it it is. It is, we've got a ways to go. Strap in, grab your popcorn. My goodness. You guys don't have to wait through the whole thing. I do, though. Might as well take a look at what six is going to look like here. Oh, boy. A small guy. I mean, I guess they could be anywhere. It just looks... I, I, I don't know why. Skinny Island, it just don't, I don't think it has it in him. I don't think he could hide a shipwreck. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Got more civilization out here. Dude, imagine being this far away from anything. We are such a long flight from like the, the main area that we took off from. Only way to get out here would be a, a boat, right? Unless that island is long enough to maybe have an airstrip on it. But imagine having a place you could go to, can only boat to, nobody else around. Storm comes through, you don't even know if it's there anymore. You gotta go boat to find out. Be kind of cool. All right, so I, I think we're getting there. It's not this island right here in front of us, which is this. It's that one. That better house our boat here. I. I I hope, I mean, a three-day voyage, they, they were getting out there. You know, they, they had a, a grandiose plan. Is it this little thing right here, MYY? It might be that. I mean, like, that, that might be the island. Does it have an airstrip on it? If that's the case, then I don't think that's going to be it. I mean, they did have a three-day charter. You know, they, they were not messing about. They were getting out there. They were getting after it. So hopefully they were chasing some fish and just ended up getting caught in a bad storm and caught the last island of the chain before they got washed away. Oh God, there's a bunch of them. Is it this long skinny one right here? Let's take a look. POI six, so it's got a couple dots leading up to it. Oh, is it this one? Wait, that's a boat! That's a boat, we found them! We found them, let's go! Oh my God, I feel, dude, I was, if we had come all the way out here and they weren't out here, I was gonna be so upset. That's a boat right there on that beautiful horizon. That is a boat. How are we going to land to say it wants me to land on this little island to save them? You're supposed to land next to it. That's how you complete it. Oh my gosh. Your savior is here. We made it. I'm coming to get you guys. There's a lot of palm trees on that island. I don't like the look of it. Can we land on this one right here and have them swim across? I don't think so. It, it, it said that you have to be close. Oh boy. Okay, I, I feel like we need to do a, a low flyover. I can only imagine the feeling they have. They've been out here stranded for a couple of days and they hear this little buzz of a Cessna Grand Caravan coming across the water. I'm gonna low pass them here so that they know we see them. I have no idea where we're gonna land, dude. There's no way. Wow, look at that, that's sick. That is really, really cool. Oh, they've got an SOS thing. Oh, we, we can we can land this. I hope. 
It's gonna be a tight fit, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. I kind of want to come around one more time just to get a better look at it. I, we're gonna get one shot at this. I'm not trying this again. I'm just letting you guys know. It's, it was a, a failed mission if we don't land here. I'm thinking we're gonna come in and land right here. There's kind of a, a little a little runway there, I guess you could call it. I'm thinking that's gonna be best case scenario, but I, I don't really have any other ideas, man. Look at that, shipwreck rescue. Dude, that thing is massive. Got caught on the rocks there, okay. Um, which direction do we wanna take it from? I would imagine, uh, I kinda wanna land towards the boat just cause it's more dramatic, but I, I would think that landing away from the boat is probably the play. We're gonna land towards it. Don't you worry, fellas, I'm coming to get you. Just, just doing it once over. I mean, this is what you do, right? Like a bush pilot, just kind of do a couple of passovers, make sure there are no rocks or anything in the way. I'm going to get us a nice long run up. Don't go too fast, Trev. Holy cow. We were about to fail that. Okay. We got to be very smart about this. We're going to get one shot at this. I want to make sure we're basically stalling on the way in and just barely keeping her afloat. I want a nice long run up. Bring an old girl around here. We still have eyes on. Can you imagine if you were on a shipwreck and you think you're saved and the pilot comes and crashes, bro? I would, I, I don't even know what I would do. We might have a bit too much speed. I'm gonna completely cut it here. It was this, it was to the, the left of this line up here. I got full flaps. Full flaps coming in here. Be careful not to stall. Just nice and easy, Trev. I forget what my brake button is, by the way, so that could potentially be an issue. Low and slow, low and slow, low and slow, not the water. Not the water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, I know my e-brake, and I... Think we got it done, baby. Does that count as close enough? You need me to get a little bit closer? We can get a little bit closer. Not too much, Trev. We got people on the ground. They set out a bunch of barrels and SOS completed. That's what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more search and rescue missions, let me know. That was a lot of fun. Peace out.